All right, we are back here at Impact Gaming Center. Mike H versus Brian S. We've got Domain Zoo versus Food. <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, these guys deciding whether they want to mulligan again or what they want to do. Actually, I don't think either player is mulliganed yet. But yeah, well, I stand corrected now because Brian has elected to mulligan. We do apologize for the glare on the left side of the screen. There is a slight glare. But... Regardless, we march forward. We will hopefully have that issue solved by next week. But yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out with us. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. If you're watching us on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Either way, though, no matter how you're watching, go ahead and share to let people know that we exist. That would be great. And if you're in the St. Louis area, it is only 8.18. We are open till midnight tonight. You guys can come up, play some, play some games of Commander. And have a big, big fun time. We are located at 49 Ludwig Drive in the fabulous Fairview Heights, Illinois. So come on up, hang out, play some games. We'd love to see you. Overgrown Tomb, the play for Mike, and Brian, going to take a draw step. Ketra Triome, pass back. Godless Shrine, shocking in. That is a Fauna Shaman. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Trying to get it just right. <laughs> so we got a Lightning Bolt here for Brian if he wants to deploy that. Take down the Fauna Shaman. Fauna Shaman is very good in Mike's deck. Mike does uh, have some infinite combos in this bad boy. Brian in the tank. Does he have any lands? Can't really see his hand at all. <laughs> Cannot see his hand much at all. It's like we have a Tyvar, some lands for Mike. Lightning Bolt. Yeah, good decision, I think, there, Brian. Haywire Might. Untap the lands. Play a forest. I believe that's a forest. Tap three. And that is Tyvar. Tyvar, Jubilant Brawler. And there it is. You may activate abilities of creatures you control as though that creature had haste, and you get to up it to untap target creature or mill three cards, you may return a creature card with mana value two or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. And then he deployed another Fauna Shaman. 18 to 19 is the total currently.
Zytora's Proving Ground. The land that Brian has elected to fetch out here. Shuffling and shuffling and shuffling. Biggest downside to live magic. There's a Territorial Kavu. That on screen for you folks, and me too. Whenever it attacks, though, you get to discard a card, draw a card, or exile up to one target card from a graveyard. And I cannot at all see what card that is, unfortunately. I think it's Gilded Goose. Yes. So here come the food. And there's Asmo Random. <laughs> Asmo. There's Asmo. There is Asmo. Searching for the cookbook. You said cookbook. Take care of the Kavu. And attack with the Fauna Shaman down to 17. Back to Brian. Ryan seems to be in the tank here. Wild Nakadal. That is a 3 3. I'm pretty sure the zoo deck does really well when it's ahead and not very well when it's fighting for its life. We're going to fetch in a steam vents. Take care of the Asmo. Take care of the Tyvar. And pass back. Pretty good turn there for Brian, all things considered. See what Mike has to say for it on his turn.
Whip, whip. I'm gonna discard the. Get the name of that card. Wait, the vehicle guy. <laughs> Makes another food. Discard another one. Get Academy Manufacturer. And I do apologize about this nasty glare we've got here. Absolutely brutal. Get back the speed shark guy. I'm going to fetch shock down to 14. Overgrown tomb is the land that he elected to get. Asmo hitting the play. Grabs a second cookbook. And. Mike's cooking. Just getting into magic, been like a week. What are the numbers at the bottom? 17, that's the life total, yeah. That is the life total, but hey, mm -hmm. thanks for hanging out with us. Kawika, appreciate you for hanging out. Make sure to follow if you enjoy the content. Approaching 100 followers. Approaching 100 subscribers, too, on YouTube. Hey, you're welcome. And uh, sometimes they're off because, as you can see right there, the, they're using Mike's phone to project the life totals. And then I can update them down here. The only way we avoid the phone being on the table is if we had like a judge sitting there and messaging me the life changes as Brian bolts. The Asmo. And plays another Kabu. That was an insidious roots, I believe, that Mike just drew. We're going to discard the runner, go grab another card, and this, uh, my gosh, this Fauna has done some work. Being a nice discard outlet, being able to find, tutor up, basically, all the Asmos Mike could ever want. Which, of course, when Asmo enters, it brings the cookbook. Mike's kind of got everything going now. Obviously not yet have the combo online, but there is Insidious Roots. I can bring that up on... The battlefield for you. There it is. So creature tokens you control have tap, add one mana of any color, and whenever one or more creatures cards leave your graveyard, create a O one plant. Then put a plus one plus one counter. On each plant you control. So we're going to be doing some silly things now. Here come the plants. <laughs> this is modern. Yes. All right, make some gigantic plants. Well, not gigantic, but pretty decent size. Then a pass back. No, you're fine. Hey, keep keep commenting. It it, it helps us. <laughs> I 
All right, well, as I was about to remove the win marker, Mike wins game number one against Brian. Food beats Domain Zoo. As both players head to sideboarding, thanks everybody for hanging out with us here at Impact Gaming Center. I am Les Alex. I make content. You can follow me on YouTube and Twitch uh, and Twitter and all those fun places, but we are Impact Gaming Center in the fantastic Fairview Heights. You can come on up if you're in the area. We are located at 49 Ludwig Drive here in Fairview Heights, about 15 minutes from downtown St. Lewis, so just a short drive if you're not allergic to that water and can cross that bridge. <laughs> Come on out, though. Play some games of Commander. We have about, I would say, about 25, 30 people playing Commander and 22 people in the, or in the Modern Tournament tonight. So thanks for hanging out with us here on Twitch. If you're watching, though, after the fact on YouTube, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Either way, though, share the content with all your friends. Let them know that we exist. That would be amazing. As we got Mike S or Mike H and Brian S here, uh, Mike on food, Brian on domain zoo. Mike took game one, and I do think, especially on the play, Mike is going to be favored in this matchup. Just all the food, gaining all the life. It's real good for Mike to be able to get his food down and get things popping as if he can get off to the races early. So let's get back down there though. As both players are finishing up sideboarding. And I do apologize. I did not update their life totals. Or I'm sorry, their, their records. They are both 1 and 0. Oh, and they are actually the top two seeds of the tournament, too. So. Talked to you in store a week or so ago. I asked you about a particular card and a friend got the Fallout set. Oh, awesome. That's awesome. Well, I'm glad I could help. Um, <laughs> yeah, come on up, play some games. We're open till midnight tonight. So I don't know if you're like super local or where you're located, but come on up, play some games. Friday's definitely the night to be here, though. We got like... 20, 25, maybe 30. I don't know. It, the place is packed. As you can see, kind of behind Brian, some people playing Commander and things. Yeah. Oh, you work tomorrow? Yeah. No. Well, I understand that. And soon we're going to be having uh, IGC play mats here, so we will be able to not have these, you know, Zidru. Love Zidru, but, uh, you know, the SCG play mat. Brian's still sideboarding.
But yeah, make sure to uh, follow us on our social media places. We have uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, aka X, um, TikTok. We have a Discord. All the fun things. Sorry for the. Uh, I'll make it up when I. On the weekend one day, schedule changes soon. Sorry for the other silly questions. Red dot. Oh, red dot means that Mike won game one. So that means he's up a game. Yeah. Not a silly question, though. If you don't know, uh, you know, if, if you've never really watched paper tournament magic, you know, you just don't know these things. Very set up in a very specific kind of way. So definitely not a silly question. All right, game two, finally. <laughs> and Brian's going to mulligan. <laughs> but yeah, we have pre-release coming up. So come on up for pre-release. If you've never played a pre-release, it is a ton of fun. It's one of the most fun experiences you can have in Magic. You get a pre-release kit, which contains... Uh, six play boosters of Outlaws at Thunder Junction, and it comes with a promo card. So you'll be able to play that promo card in your deck. We have four pre-releases over the three days. So Friday, next Friday, the 12th, we will have a regular uh, sealed, and that'll just be 1v1, um, $30, and it'll be a fun fun time, win a box type of tournament. So And anybody who dresses up will get... Will get a uh, five dollar in store credit bonus added to their account. If you dress up in western or cowboy attire, yeah, it's gonna be sweet. I'm really excited for Thunder Junction. We have at 7 p.m. next week. We have Thunder Junction pre-release, and then on Saturday we have a 1 p.m. two-headed giant and a 5 p.m. regular, and then on Sunday we have a 1 p.m. two-headed giant. So we'll be have two traditional and one, or and two, rather. Sorry about that. Two two-headed giants. So Leyline, Misty Rainforest, go. Overgrown Tomb, tap. Pick your poison, sacrifice that. Be gone. Down to 18 goes Mike. Two, two life well spent. Yeah, the cowboy set. It is. It is the cowboy set. It's. It looks awesome. I actually went on Amazon and uh, bought a whole get up. I'm gonna be uh, decked out. <laughs> so if you come up Friday or Saturday, I will be decked out <laughs> in some old west attire. I'm really excited for it. I love the old west theme. I used to watch old western like John Wayne, Dirty Harry style movies the good, the bad, the ugly, things like that with my grandpa back in the day when I was a kid. So some very fun and nostalgic memories. All right, Savvy Triome. Off the fetch. Shock down to 17. And there's Sion and Draco. Did it the hard way. Brian like, meh, that's what I got. Or is this saga? No. But yeah, everybody, we have four rounds tonight. Four rounds of modern. I'm actually going to... There we go. There's a fetch land in step. Or not in step, rather. There's a gilded goose. It's going to generate a food token. And pick your poison. Sacrifice an artifact. Brian, like, are you kidding me? Yep. Pick your poison. Very, very good. Forget the name of this card that, that Brian just cast. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and we're going to take a look. 
uh, Academy manufacturer down for Mike. Brawler, it's got Trample and Domain. Its power is equal to the... Okay, so it is a 4-3 currently. A Brawler, that's what I'm going to call him. 17 all as Brian plays express, Expressive Iteration. Not showing us a dang thing. He needs lands. Put that card on bottom. This card in exile, so he'll be able to play the Misty Rainforest. Didn't quite see what he put in his hand. Down to 16. Gonna grab a Temple Garden. Gonna drop to 14. There's a Leyline Binding. Target Academy Manufacturer. And Bash in with the Brawler. Down to 12. He's a 5 3. Big beefy boy. And Mike just passing back, so. This brawler can it go the distance? Is that a ley line of the void? I don't know. Can't really tell what Brian just it looks like a black card. An attack, no blocks from the goose. Down to seven goes Mike. And we're going to make a construct here at the end of the turn for Mike off of the Urza Saga that I know you probably can't see, but the land that has the D20 on it is an Urza Saga. I really do apologize for this terrible glare. Hopefully... By next week, we'll have this figured out. Uh, we just moved our uh, streaming rig out to the main play area. And, yeah, the lighting is not optimal. So that construct is currently a 2-2. Mike wants to make another one here. As there's a saga ticks up to three, we shall see. There's a saga needs to tick up to three. We're going to make a token here before. All right. I thought he was like, I forgot it or something, but it. Mike's a pro. He's got this, you know. Gonna grab a Haywire Mine. It looks, eh, maybe not. Gonna have a think about it. Haywire Mine obviously lets him get his Academy Manufacturer back. Gonna get Shadow Spear though instead, it looks like.
Verdant Catacombs crack down to five, it looks like. Didn't even see what land that is. To be honest, the glare is just too bad, and I do apologize for that. Uh. Well, now he... <laughs> Mike's got two constructs, and they're much bigger than just two twos now. They are, in fact, four fours, which can block and trade with Brian's brawler. And we're equipping, and we're attacking. Brian has a path. Deal with that. Mike will go get a basic land. <laughs> Guess he fails to find. So they take a shuffle. And it's Brian's turn. So now that construct is a 3-3. Three, three. Still trades with the brawler, though, because it is an X3. And it is currently a 5-3. So if Brian can find another path to exile, I think he has, uh, well, he could block with the goose, obviously. Does have trample, though, so three would trample over. Two would trample over if uh, Mike were to block with just the construct. Hallowed Fountain in tapped for Brian. Path, target your construct. Wow. Just the stone cold nuts here. And he's going to block with the goose. Going to drop to two. Thanks to trample from the brawler. Any thoughts on new Leyline hype? I mean, it seems very legit. <laughs> I actually made a top five video, uh, top five cards from uh, the set on my own personal YouTube channel, and I said that Playline was really good, and a lot of people were talking smack in my comments. And hey, I put it on wax, and uh, yeah, it's very good. Who'd have thunk? A lot of people were like, "Oh, that card does nothing." Yep, and there's a Leyline binding. That's gonna do it. That means the brawler can bash through on Brian's turn. Brian able to tie things all up here at one to one. And we go to game number three here at Impact Gaming Center. Thank you all so much for hanging out with us. If you're watching on Twitch, make sure to follow. We are close to 100 followers. Well, we're close to, we're two away from 90. That would be really cool if we could hit that tonight. And we are very, very close. I think we have like 96 subscribers on YouTube. So if you're watching now on Twitch, there's between eight and six of you bouncing around. Head on over, if you haven't yet, to our YouTube channel. Just search Impact Gaming Center on YouTube. Make sure uh, to subscribe over there. We will post these videos throughout the week, next week, over on YouTube. So if you miss, miss something, you can check it out over there. But thanks, everybody, for hanging out. If you're in the St. Louis area, we are at 49 Ludwig Drive in the fabulous Fairview Heights, Illinois. You can come hang out with us. Tonight, we close at midnight. It is only about 9 o'clock. So come on up, play some games of Commander. And if you're not doing anything next week, we have pre-release for Outlaws of Thunder Junction. It's $30. It'll be a win a box. That is at 7 p.m. And then Saturday and Sunday, we have uh, uh, 1 p.m. Uh, Two-Headed Giant. And then 5 p.m. regular on Saturday. And then a Two-Headed Giant at 1 p.m. on Sunday. Outlaws at Thunder Junction looks awesome. I'm really excited. I love the Old West theme. It's super campy. It looks super fun. Um, and if you want to follow me, follow me. Les Alex on the internet. I'm on Twitter. It's, uh, not Instagram, but YouTube, Twitch, all the places. TikTok. But yeah, Smop. I think it's good. I think it's really good, actually. But uh, these guys look like they are almost ready. So let's get back down to the action. Thanks for hanging out. Sorry about the glare. I do apologize. Let me reset these life totals right quick. 
and we'll be off to the best two words in magic coverage. Game three. Looks like Mike's going to take a mulligan. <laughs> First mulligan of the match, though. Can't complain. Although it kind of stinks. If you're Mike, mulliganing in game three. Mike, I assume, will be on the play. I think he's probably favored pretty heavily if he's on the play and keeps a decent, you know, six or seven cards. Yeah, thanks everybody for hanging out with us. We stream every single Friday at 7 p.m. It's modern action. We are going to be, we added, uh, you know, we opened some packs uh, the last couple days. Opened some boxes. Hey, shout out to Audi. Been brewing around Leyline with Bloom Tender. That's pretty sweet. Tap for Wooberg. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> That's pretty nuts. Is it necessary? You know? I don't know. What do I know? All right, Brian. <laughs> Brian now decides he wants to mulligan. But yeah, we got four rounds of modern action tonight. This is just two. So when we go to break, stick around because we have a ton more modern action on the docket. Unless there's some weird pairings, we will have four rounds tonight. I think there'll probably even be two four O's. Brian in the tank. Does he want to keep this hand? He does. Put that on bottom. And we'll be off to the races here momentarily. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Forest Goose, go. Pretty clean turn there from Mike. Misty Rainforest. Pass. Overgrown Tomb, he's going to drop to 18. He's going to tap, sack the food for Tyvar, Jubilant Brawler. So we can activate, mill three, and then get a two-drop creature back from his hand. Tyvar, land, and Chatterfang. So, unfortunately for Mike, he does whiff, but he's got a turn two Tyvar in play, so that's pretty good. Brian going to crack a fetch, drop to 19. It looks like Mike does have a Asmoranda Dick the car and a Dose the Cold car. <laughs> yeah, Mike, uh, Mike's definitely a brewer. Um, I'm not sure if it's he's playing food, typically. But uh, Mike definitely likes it, and usually does good things. Mike's actually been featured probably more than any other player. <laughs> uh, he's won a couple of our F&Ms. This is our sixth F&M ever. We are a brand new store in Fairview Heights, Illinois, 49 Ludwig Drive. If you are in the St. Louis area, come on up. Love to see you. Um, but... And our website will be launching very soon. So be on the lookout for that. All right. Brian gonna surveil. Does he want that car or not? He does. You know, classic... Draw, untap, upkeep. <laughs> I 
Is that a Carnage Tyrant in his hand? There's no way that's a Carnage Tyrant in his that Brian's right thumb is touching. Oh, it's, it might be a Force of Vigor. That makes way more sense if it is. Down to 18. Down to 16, because he's shocking. And a steam vents here. What are we doing? Hallowed Fountain. So 16, 18. The totals here. And there's the brawler. And he is a 4-3. Big boy. 4-3 four free, four free trampler. We got, uh... Is that Insidious Roots? It's definitely Insidious Roots. Also got Haywire Might. And so, Mike able to make a to uh, food token, then untap. So Mike has a bl blocker, potentially. He'll still take three. Or two, rather. It's a 4-3 four, so currently is the brawler. Yeah, well, now he's a 5-3. So he will take three. Swing three at Tyvar. No reason to block. It's going to die regardless. Pass back. <clears throat> There's a Fauna Shaman drawn. Fauna Shaman did a lot of work last game. And there's a Samwise Gamgee. See if I can't pull that up real quick for us. It is one of the combo pieces. There's Samwise. Whenever another non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, you get to create a food. And then you get to sacrifice three foods to return target historic card from your graveyard to your hand. So eventually he makes enough tokens. Uh, food tokens, he gets to return everything. And it's a loop. I'm not exactly sure how the combo pans out in the long run, but I know that it does work. You just got to trust me, you know? <laughs> Another food. And a pass back. Back to Brian. He's got a scion in hand, too. Brian in the tank here. Misty Rainforest. Brian says, have at thee. Mike wants no part of blocking. Yeah, I don't blame you. There's a Scion. Two mana, four, four. And I believe that's a forest. Oh, it's a swamp. There's Fauna Shaman. Tap a green and tap it. To discard a creature. Obviously, it's just entering the play now, and there's no Tyvar on the battlefield, so that means it is sick. Summoning sick. That'll make a food token and a pass back.
we will cast Leyline Binding on your Samwise. And crack a fetch land, drop to 15. Back and forth game. I mean, once this Fauna Shaman enters play, or uh, rather, is active, Mike's going to have some options here for sure. And it doesn't look like Brian obviously has any way to kill this turn. Oh, did Brian forget his Surveil Trigger? Or maybe he just wanted the card on top. I don't know. I, I missed that. But we're going to attack in here for nine. And we're going to jump in front of the Scion. Yeah, that makes sense. And drop to eight. Bird going to hit the bin. And there's Wild Nacatl. Haywire Might. Blow that Leyline Binding up. Gain two life for Mike. And so he has some potential to do some fun things here on this turn. As he can discard his Asmo. Fauna Shaman drawn for the turn. Discards Fauna Shaman. Art. Am I tripping? Might be tripping. <laughs> There we go. There's, there's Asmo. We're going to make food. We're going to find a cookbook. And a pass back. Cut if you'd like, says Mike. So again, Mike not in any real danger of dying here. I don't think. Because Asmo can sack some tokens to deal some damage to some of these creatures, if need be. Yep, and that's exactly what uh, Asmo did, mm -hmm. able to take down the Brawler and the Scion thanks to some well-timed sacrifice tokens. That the Exile. Oof. Down to seven goes Mike. Trade with the Nakatl, and there's a Kavu. Now we're just like turbo magic right now. Sidious Roots, part two. Pass back. Kind of both living on the top decks here. Ryan electing to discard and draw. Block with Samwise. Not looking too good for Mike here. Bash. Discard, draw. Down to two. 
and a second Kavu. Ugh, that's really rough for Mike. Being able to deal with one is one thing, but being able to deal with both is, uh... Yeah, and that's going to do it. Brian going to take it here in three games. Brian S. winning with Domain Zoo over Mike H. on food. There's a handshake there at the end. Good sports, both of them. But yeah, we have two more rounds here at Impact Gaming Center, so don't go anywhere. Make sure to follow if you're watching live. And again, don't go anywhere. We have more. If you're watching on YouTube, though, thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to Impact Gaming Center. And if you're watching live, head on over to YouTube, subscribe there. We're real close to 100 subscribers. We're real close to 90 followers. That would be really sick if we could hit that tonight. But thanks, everybody, for hanging out. We've got two more live rounds of Modern. Thanks for hanging out. I will see you very soon for round number three.